Welcome back into another episode of the Huskers Radio Network podcast. I'm Jessica Cootie and excited to be joined by Calvin Mueller of Nebraska Men's Tennis, who coming off a uh, Big Ten singles title, the first ever in program history. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thanks, Thanks for, for having being me. here. Uh, well, let's um, let's start with the run. So mm -hmm. you're at the Big Ten Championships and Take us through just the approach to it, how you felt leading into it, and if you felt good, and it felt like it was going to be a Big Ten title run. Yeah. So first of all, um, yeah, it was it was a great run. Um, I kind of expected it, but also not. Um, we put in lots of work in in the fall. Um, we challenged each other so much during during practices, and I knew I was I was prepared for it. On the other hand. Um, I feel like the fall, the fall was long, the fall was hard. Uh, I was kind of banged up a little bit. Um, so my expectations, they were not high, but I just went into the tournament thinking, I'm just going to compete as hard as I can, what we've been talking about, and I do my best, and win. It's, that was the, the, the focus. Yeah, it, it's hard to win a, a tennis title, right? So take me through kind of just each match. I mean, how yeah. you were able to close the chapter and move on and keep winning. Yeah, so um, we've, been, we've been working on lots of new stuff also uh, before, the, before the tournament. And so I went into the first match without any expectation, I would say, because um, implementing uh, stuff that you were just working on in practice isn't the easiest when you go into your first match and worked uh, quite well. I played someone from Indiana. Um, I actually played him in, in, in last season and it was a three set match. So I knew he wasn't, he was good. Um, and I felt really good in this match. Um, I think it was 6-3, 6-2, so pretty, uh, yeah, pretty good performance. And then the next match was against someone from Northwestern. Um, honestly, I didn't trust myself in the first set, uh, didn't hold my serve really well, um, lost 6-4 and then, then started to gain my confidence again and play good. Um, the next match against someone from Ohio State also, pretty good performance as well. Semifinals actually against someone from Michigan where uh, my former head coach is uh, head coach there now, so um, yeah, great matchup. Um, also didn't trust myself with my new stuff in the first set and then believed in myself, competed and yeah, it was, it was also a good semifinals and in the final from the beginning, yeah, great. <laughs> How much did you, once you got to that championship match, did you want it? How badly did you want it once you got there? The, the final? Yeah. Oh yeah, I was, I was prepared and also I... This guy, he beat, uh, I think, three of our guys before in the, in the round of 16, in the quarterfinals, and in the semifinals, so I couldn't let that, <laughs> I couldn't let that happen to beat four of us in a row. So uh, you, you win it. How good was that feeling? What did that feel like when you, you do win it and you're, you're standing on top of the podium? It was, it was a great feeling um, because I, all the work that I, that I put in uh, finally... Yeah, finally established. Um, I mean, that's my third year in college now, and I feel like I haven't achieved uh, as much as I should have or could have or would like to have achieved. And so it was a great feeling to finally win uh, a title. And the first ever for Nebraska men's tennis yeah. in, in Big Ten Championship singles, what did that mean to you to get to do that for this program? Well, first of all, I didn't actually know about it. To be honest, but yeah, I mean, that's history, and I think um, I hope I, I set a standard for more to to come in the future. Hopefully, it's awesome. Love that. You you talked about some of the new things that you've implemented into yeah. your game and working through. What are some of those things that you've been focused on on this fall? Um, I think uh, mostly forehand and backhand, uh, just switching up some things. I mean. I don't want to get too much into the detail, but just um, making sure that uh, I have more consistency in my in my shots. I would say, yeah. So overall, as a team, you know, yeah. we always hear about how important the fall season is. Mm -hmm. um, how, overall, as a team, how did you guys feel like you performed and got accomplished over the the fall season? So 
I think the fall was in January in general really good. Um, we challenge each other in every single practice. I think that also comes from our new new coaches or the new coaching staff in general. Like they are very competitive and they uh, implement that into into our practice. Um, we we challenge each other, especially maybe I can give a sh shout out uh, to Shunya um, because it's always a battle whenever you you play him, whenever you practice with him, it's a battle. Um, and so, yeah, it's, I think the whole team set a standard and that was important to create that um, environment in the fall. And then you personally, how much confidence do you take away from how you closed out the fall season with the Big Ten title going into before you guys pick up in the season in the spring? Yeah, I mean, obviously I'm confident right now, but also on the other hand, I know that uh, that was hopefully just, just the beginning. So I know that there's uh, much more to come. I know I can improve still much, much more. Um, but yeah, still, I feel, I feel very confident. And I'm happy that we put in all the work in the fall. You mentioned the new coaching staff. Peter Cobell uh, named the interim head coach back in the summer. We got a chance to chat with him, and he is really excited about the team, but what has it been like from your perspective as a player? I know he was an assistant coach, but taking over as head coach, what he's implemented here as the head coach? Um, I would honestly say um, nothing changed too much because he, I think he, is a, he definitely is a person to be, to be a head coach. You know, even though he was an assistant coach, uh, he was up there and um, we all know what he, what he achieved in, in college. He brings um, the experience of how to win, especially. I feel like that's uh, very important because at the end of the day in tennis, you, you got to win. Um, and so, yeah, I think um, the mentality or the winning environment is what he created. And um, I think everyone is benefiting from that a lot. That's awesome. You're from Frankfurt, Germany. That's right. Tell us about your journey here, how you ended up in Nebraska. Um, <laughs> that's, uh, honestly, it was a, was a long way, obviously, but at the end of the day, um, I, was, I was practicing in the Federation. Um, a former assistant coach uh, from Nebraska is actually working there, uh, and also through other persons, I got uh, in contact to the former head coach here in Nebraska. And... Yeah, that's how I basically got here. There's also another German uh, player on the team that I was really close with, or I grew up with basically, playing him and playing PlayStation with him, so I knew him, and um, yeah, that's how I got here. How much have you enjoyed playing collegiate tennis and at Nebraska? Um, it's obviously uh, a very different environment. Um, I feel like... I'm, I'm, I'm getting to enjoy it more and more, especially, uh, yeah, all the, uh, through winning, you know. Uh, I feel like that's something I had to learn the last uh, couple of months. And obviously in Nebraska, playing tennis here is, is great. Um, uh, all, the, all the support we get, the, the facility we have, we are, we are blessed to, to play here. And so, yeah, I, I enjoy it a lot. You know, you are, were academic all Big Ten multiple times, multiple um, scholar awards and, and lists that you're on. How important was that for you when you got to play, play college tennis to also uh, take advantage and, and take care of business in the classroom? Uh, honestly, that's, that's even more important for me. I want to do great in the, in the classroom. I put in many hours into school every week, every day, and so that's my priority. What's your major? Uh, I'm a business administration major and a uh, finance minor. Wow. It's uh, hard. What are you hoping to do after, after tennis is done? Um, honestly, I hope to get into either investment banking or uh, maybe wealth or asset management. I feel like that's, uh, that's, that's pretty interesting for me. What's been your favorite class that you've taken so far? Um, my favorite class, I think, was uh, accounting. Um, 
especially because I was challenged a lot in, in, in accounting. It was uh, in my sophomore year. Um, I learned lots of new words, <laughs> especially in English, but also accounting I feel like is, is great just to get companies to know how they work, how they function, what, uh, what's happening in the background. And so accounting was very beneficial for understanding businesses, I feel like. And what's the hardest class? Was it that accounting class? Uh, no, I actually have uh, two of my hardest classes right now. Um, that's business law, just because uh, for me the law language is, is hard. Mm -hmm. uh, I have to translate everything and it's still, it's still hard. Uh, and also um, finance 363, which is uh, an investment principle class. It's also really hard to me. So. You, you uh, got A's? You working on A's in those classes? <laughs> no, not right now. No. <laughs> You'll get there by the end no, of the um, semester. Uh, this semester is pretty hard. Let's yeah. put it that way. <laughs> How do you balance all of it? I mean, a demanding, being a collegiate athlete, I mean, everybody has to do it, but then, and then also a difficult major like that. How, how are you able to, to balance all of that? That's, uh, that's a good question, yeah. It's, it's hard. I mean, I'm, I'm trying my best to, to use as much time as I can. Um, obviously, sometimes uh, at night I'm studying and falling asleep. It happened yesterday. Um, I'm sometimes cramping in class. Those things happen, but uh, I don't know. I try to, uh, yeah, just put in as much work as I can. That's good. Yeah. It's obviously paying <laughs> off for you. Big Ten title and, and all the uh, scholar awards that you've gotten. So I noticed, too, that your, your social media handle is I love my backhand, <laughs> right? Do you yeah. love your backhand? I do love my backhand, yeah. <laughs> well, that, that was a couple years ago. Um, I don't know. I just thought that was funny. Yeah. And, but is the backhand good to you? Yeah. I like playing backhands. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right. Well, let's, let's just circle back now and just, you know, for this team, how much do you believe in, in kind of what's being put in place with, with Coach Peter and then also with the, the guys that are here and what you guys have been able to do going into the, the spring season? How much do you believe in this group? I believe a lot in our group. I know what everyone um, has put in. I know what we've been working on, um, especially and everyone worked individually on whatever they, they had to improve. Um, I know with our coaches, they won't let it happen that um, I don't know, we, we uh, lose our focus on our goal. So I believe a lot in, in us. What, what goes into the next couple months before you guys hit the court again for when it starts to count in the spring season? You mean uh, practice-wise? Yeah, yeah and, and, the, and the pre or the off-season yeah. and, and leading up to it. Well, obviously for tennis, that's um, kind of a tough, tough time uh, because we are in the eight-hour weeks right now, so the practice with coaches is strictly limited. Um, also, we most of us go home for for Christmas, so now it's time to be disciplined for everyone. Um, to be responsible with uh, their practices because it's easy to just, you know, go home and don't do anything. But I feel like I'm confident with our group that uh, that won't happen. I hope that uh, yeah we're gonna have some meetings and talk about what what we're gonna do, especially fitness-wise and in the gym. And so yeah, and then we go straight into the season. We get here, have maybe 10 more days of practice, and then our first matches start, so so it goes. Well, we're looking forward to the season, and congratulations again on the Big Ten title, and best of luck moving forward. Thank you. And that is Calvin Mueller with Nebraska men's tennis, most recently the Big Ten champion for singles and the first ever in Nebraska men's tennis program history. Thanks for listening to this episode of the Huskers Radio Network podcast. Make sure you subscribe and like wherever you listen to never miss an episode. Thanks for listening.